Hello. You must be the new demon slayer that the young Commodotes spoke to me about. It's nice to finally meet you. Yes. It must be strange to see me here instead of Rengoku-san. He has fallen in battle. I trained under him for many years. It is a heartbreaking loss for not only myself, but all the people who called him a friend. However, he put his faith in me and I will make him proud. He always put on a smile for all who greeted him, and I will be sure to carry on doing so. He may not be here in body, but he will always be here in spirit and mind. I have put all my effort into training and learning to master my breathing techniques so that you will be as safe with me as you would have been with Rengoku-san. Shinobu-san has prepared some food for your arrival. We shouldn't keep her waiting any longer than she has already. Follow me, young one. What is that? Oh, you wish to know more about Rengoku. Well, I cannot speak where I do not have permission, but I can tell you about the man I knew. He had incredible passion and a burning determination to protect the ones he loved and an unmatched love of sweet potatoes. <laughs> yes, he loved food about as much as he enjoyed training. He came across as aloof, but anyone who mistook that for ignorance was surely made a fool when they saw his skill with the blade. He trained me not long after I came here to join, much like you. I remember him telling me, I can see there's fire blazing within you. I would like to train you as I can see you have great potential. <laughs> what about Shinobu-san? Well, you'll see for yourself soon enough. As we've reached the butterfly estate already. Your eagerness to learn about everyone is admirable, but don't overwhelm yourself. You will have plenty of time to learn about everyone else soon enough. For now, let us enjoy Shinobu's wonderful hospitality. Shinobu-san, we have arrived! Come, come, let us have a seat. She is already on her way back. <laughs> a Hashira must always be perceptive. Besides, I can hear her approaching. <laughs> ah, no need to worry. We can enjoy all this food in good company, I assure you. The food here is quite tasty. That was most delicious, Shinobu-san. It is always wonderful to get a moment's rest, as it comes so rarely nowadays. Yes, I plan on taking them to their quarters that will serve as their respite through the hard training. Do enjoy your evening, though. Shinobu. No, I will not be training you personally. I do not believe I can take on a Sugoku right now, but I will think on it. As it stands now, though, you need to learn the basics, and I cannot do that for you in this moment. That will be something the core can teach you. When we meet again, I will give you my answer. Ah, it seems as though we've made it to the estate quite quicker than I thought we would. This will serve as your home while you train. Your room will be the last one on the right from the main hall. If you have any troubles, do not hesitate to ask. May the fire in your heart blaze brightly and your courage smolder hotter than any doubts you may face. I can see that there is promise burning in your eyes, and I know that you will make the Demon Slayer Corps proud. Do have a good evening. I hope I am making you proud, Rengoku. All I want is to keep living as you taught me.
I suppose I should get to it then. I will keep going. I will never back down.